Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make this in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Um, first off, I already made my background. It's just a regular, you can use a solid background or just a gradient. Just write your text. You can choose whichever font you want. Now I like for this effect, I like to use this Acumen Pro. And what I like to do is just go to type create outlines. Then I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool, which is these, this white arrow key. I'm just gonna select the ends of my letters and click on that circle to round the tops and bottoms of them. I don't want any sharp corners on this, but this isn't mandatory. You can obviously use whichever um, font or type that you prefer. I just finished rounding these. All right, and next, uh, we're basically going to duplicate this. So our top copy, you can make whichever color you want. And our bottom copy, I'm just gonna make darker version of our background, just a little darker. I'm going to align these next and then just select my top and slightly move it kind of like this. Um, after that, I don't want this gap to be there and I want kind of like a smooth color to happen uh, between these two. So I'm gonna select both my text copies, double click here on the blend tool options, and select specified steps, and I'm gonna go with maybe like 100, probably even less is fine, but I'll just go with 100. And then I'm just go to object, blend, make and it's gonna blend our two colors together so that we get this cool effect. Now, lastly, what I like to do is I added these little stars and you can easily do that by make our color white. Then I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool and I'll make a circle. I'll make three different ones and I'm gonna go to effect, distort and transform, pucker and bloat and just give this a negative number and you get your star. And uh, I'll do that with the other ones too. Just to have different versions. And then I'm just gonna place this. Uh, let's place it here on the eye. Just make this tiny. I'll make this one really thin and maybe spin it around a little bit. Place it here on our L, maybe reduce the size a little bit. And we're gonna leave the bigger, biggest one over here, reduce the size of this as well. And that's basically all I did. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe, comment, give this video a like if you enjoyed this content I make. Um, I'm gonna leave the links to my gradient map packs and to my texture packs down in the description below. So if you're interested, definitely go check those out. There's also some free versions available for you. And yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.